Hey what's going on guys Ravi here from Ira FX and I welcome you to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. So in this video we are going to learn this animation in Adobe After Effects. Yes this is Superman landing effect and this is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know the interface of Adobe After Effects. So without any delay, let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 shooting the scene, step 2 masking the character and step 3 adding final touches. So in the first step all you have to do is shoot a video something like this, place your camera on a tripod and then have a clean plate of the background just like this enter into the scene jump like this and act as if you're landing like this that's it just have a look at it once again just enter into the scene jump like this and you're done it is important to have a clean state of the background at the beginning of your footage so the second step drag this footage onto this small icon here so that you create a new composition so in order to have a clean plate of the background um, control D on your keyboard so that you duplicate this layer and uh, select the bottom most layer right click here and from time click on freeze frame so let me rename this to background all right so we have our background just below have your background all across the footage so the next thing that we do is go to the point where your character is actually touching the ground just like this you know the characters uh, has touched the ground uh, like this when it starts falling down okay so at this point we'll have to freeze our character here so let me first split this layer into two go to edit split layer and click on this first frame let me just call this um, landing all right and right click this and from time freeze frame the next thing that we'll have to do is mask the character at this frame so we have uh, our character freezed at this point and let us just mask out character click on this pen tool here and start masking out your character it doesn't have to be really very perfect but just have a good outline of the character so once you mask out the character like this all you have to do is let us trim this composition a bit for like one second good drag the other footage just just next to it right once you have your masked layer in place one second what you have to do now is go to the last frame um, expand this landing layer expand the transform that you have here and click on this timer icon here so that a keyframe is created at the last frame and go to the first frame and set the um, y-axis value of position in such a way that our character moves outside our composition like this and now if I start playing this you now the character starts falling from the top like this 
But if I play it in real time, you see that the character is falling down very slowly. So in order to have a better, you know, a better visual, all you have to do is drag this position uh, layer in just like this so that if I play this, character falls a bit faster like this. This looks good to me. The next thing that you do is toggle switches here that you can enable this motion blur for this layer as well as click here so that the motion blur gets enabled for the entire composition. You see that character falls with some motion blur like this. This will give us a very good effect our our uh, footage so the last thing that is left is to add some elements this is actually optional but it gives a very good effect to our scene so in order to add the final touches i have this um smoke effect that i actually downloaded from production create now let me show this to you production crate is actually a a very uh, useful site for uh, motion graphic designers and uh, vfx artists i definitely recommend you to check this out you have tons of free visual effects uh, and uh, raw pages to download and you can check the link in the description and uh, actually download those footages i actually downloaded this shockwave here that you see um, this one so you know you can use different kinds of effects to generate uh, a much better and clear um, FX elements to the scene so what I did is drag this composition onto this small um, onto my composition and made it a little small and I use the opacity by clicking T on the keyboard and I reduce this a bit 60 and I change this um, color to overlay so I turn this mode to overlay so that it matches with my ground and if I start playing this see that you have a shock wave created here let's composition yep this is how you make the superman landing animation another thing that you can do this is optional uh, i just thought you have to land like a superman but you can add different kinds of effects let me show you can uh, pre-compose this layer wall attributes call this superman landing let us add a little earthquake effect as soon as the character lands down so at this point yep at this point click on P on your keyboard so that you enable the how uh, you are able to see the position parameters click on this timer button here so that a keyframe is created Go to a couple of frames forward on eight frames forward and create another keyframe by clicking this diamond button so from the um, window menu go to wiggler and what you have to do now is select both the keyframes here and change this ice type to jagged and set the frequency to 10 and magnitude to 10 as well and click apply so you have multiple keyframes created between these two that we created earlier so just scale our composition to 105 just to avoid right so now if you see the scene see that a little quick effect is tied to our shot so you can actually use different elements from production create or um, different uh, uh, websites or green screen elements and use your creativity to generate this superman landing effect in a much better way 
So if you if you are looking for more visual effects and tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to download this project file, you can download it absolutely free from my website irafx.net. And uh, if you'd like to talk to me, you can uh, connect with me on Instagram at vfxguyravi. See you guys next time with another tutorial.